Welcome to the Man Made Me Tournament of 2021. I'm Charles Hydromel. And I'm Frank Wheatbuck. Today we have a very exciting event for everyone. We're here to watch 15 Meads battle to become the victor of this wonderful Mead tournament. That's right, Charles. We have 15 Meads in play, and it's going to be a fierce battle. All of these Meads today are submitted from the Man Made Mead community. Seriously? All 15? Uh, are you sure he didn't... You know, sneak one in. Uh, absolutely. Much to everyone's surprise, he was able to wrangle 15 meads for the competition. Well, Frank, I uh, I don't know about you, but I'm excited to get into this tournament. So, will you explain the rules for us? Definitely. So, let's start by talking about our entrants. We're going to briefly describe each one of them so you can get used to them. This also gives you an opportunity to pick one that you think will be the, the winner. Feel free to comment below with who you think will be the victor of this tournament. So, mead number one is from Andrew. It, it is a blueberry pomegranate hydromel with orange blossom honey. Ooh, that sounds fantastic. Uh, what an interesting pairing of fruits. Hmm. Mead number two is from Nick, and it is a still dry peach mead hitting about 13%. Uh, I don't think any of our judges will still be dry after this competition's done. Anyways, um, <laughs> entry number three is from Shane. It's a buckwheat honey mead with cold brew, hits about 13%. Uh, mm, entry number four is from Susan. It's a bourbon boche mead that has mesquite blossom honey, vanilla, mandarin orange peel, banana, Orange blossom honey and oak that was soaked in bourbon. Man, that's quite a list. Those ingredients sound very, very good though. Entry number five is from Larry. It's a blueberry balm hydromel with lemon zest. It's pretty light about, about, at about 4.5%. Entry number six is from Matthew and is a boysenberry mellow mel. It's about 14%. You know, I've never had boysenberry before, but it sounds like it'd be really interesting. Entry number seven comes to us from Steven and is a tapache style mead with uh, wildflower honey, pineapple, arbor chilies, and padilla chilies, and cinnamon. That's a lot of spice. I sure hope these guys can handle that kind of heat. Spice from cinnamon and peppers? Talk about a challenge. That's a tough one. Entry number eight is from Adam and is a mixed berry mead with raspberry and blueberry. Tart and sweet. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. That'll be interesting. Entry number nine is from Kyle and is a mixed berry bomb. That's all he wrote. So. Entry number 10 is from Jake and is a Tupelo traditional mead. You know, Tupelo honey's pretty delicate. I do wonder how it'll fare in a traditional. I guess it wouldn't have much competition considering it's the only flavor, but I guess we'll find out. Entry number 11 is from Christian, and it is a session mead with lemongrass and amarillo hops, clocking in at about 5.5%. Entry number 12 is from Sean, it's a pie mint with lemongrass and ginger. Entry number 13 is from William, and it is a no water cranberry mellow mel that is sweet and sack string. Entry number 14 is from Davey, it's a raspberry mead with wildflower honey. Our final mead is number 15, it's from Trevor, it's a strawberry lavender mead. Now that we've met our competitors, let's check out the board. Each mead has been randomly paired up against another. The three judges will taste test each mead and then choose which one they like the most. They will vote with the red slash green coin. The winning mead moves on. Well, folks, um, these judges are ready to go. Let's go over to BC, Tony, and Garrett for the start of round one. We will see you at halftime. Okay, we got two meads here. We have number three versus number 11. Now, I, uh, I'm i not going to tell you what these are until, unless we really need to know. Part of this is for the people watching who have submitted things to see how accurate they uh, are with this. It's kind of like our palette expanders. Mm -hmm. um, of course, in the future we'll talk about it more. Honestly, I don't remember everything that was submitted, so. Uh, you guys, let's start with, how about, let's go with 11 first. 11 seems like it might be easier to start. Ooh, very, very floral and fruity, but very dry. Mm -hmm. 
That's interesting. It's almost like a hard seltzer. Well, yeah, we, we talked about that before, how mm-hmm. sometimes like you taste something and it, uh, like the aroma is so fragrant and mm-hmm. nice, and then the, the taste is the polar opposite. Not yeah. that this isn't nice, but it's much drier than the next. Yeah, it, it really is like, uh, it really is like a hard seltzer. Yeah. But it's pretty refreshing. I mean, part of this, this one is cold. I did not chill every one of them. If someone specified, please chill. I went ahead and did that. So we didn't have any explosions. We already had one explosion. So <laughs> trying to minimize the amount of that. Um, this one's much drier than I thought. Yeah, I don't hate that though. But I, I can't, if there's a fruit in there, if there's something that's supposed to be a dominant flavor, I'm not catching it. Oh, I mean, it tastes hopped. I'm wondering. I think it, like, yeah, I think it's. I think it might be hot, but because you can smell the the hop aroma, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. it's a little bit green on the nose. Am, on I, am I getting like a fruit on the nose though? Like I feel like I I'm getting a fruit. Do you think I, it's just the hop? I, 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 I mean, I haven't looked nose. at the can, but but it, yeah, it almost smells like a noble hop, something that's a little bit fruity. Hmm. And I I would guess it's like a fruit honey, maybe like a blueberry or an orange blossom. This All one right. smells really. Let's good. switch. This is now. That was number eleven. Um, now we're on number three. This one's got like candy. Ooh, this is a uh, bouchéed, um, caramelized toffee. Mm-hmm. The body's a little it watery is, though. It is lacking body. Yeah, it's very thin. It, it feels like there weren't enough um, uh, tannic adjustments. No yeah. oaking, no even wine tannin, powdered wine tannin added. Ah, it's very watery. It, it does have like some coffee side though. I get a little bit of like yeah, like a slight like. Uh, okay, hint of you know what? Bean. Now I see what you mean by. I understand why you need a little bit of tan. <laughs> it just it gets flat. It lets it grip just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this has no grip, so you just all the flavor washes. Yeah, a little so bit, like on the tip of the tongue, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. But it probably could have used a little bit more acidity. I mean, it's pretty acidic. I like this. Acidity is fine. It's the tannic value. I need a little more floral. I need, I need it to be sweeter. There's, if it's gonna be that acidic, there needs to be some some sugar in there to uh-huh. balance that out. But so, I do think I get a little. Very good. There must be some coffee in here or something because I'm picking up a little bit of that. So it's yeah. got a roastiness. Like it's like I, almost boche coffee style. It. <laughs> I guess I mean this in the best way possible because <laughs> it's it's really not bad at all. It it almost tastes like beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get back in here. No. I I know it's a, it's a stretch. It's it's, a, it's definitely a stretch. I see what you're saying. There's a little bit of like a teriyaki thing happening there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like like <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is the best way possible. Right word, it has this like <laughs> it's like savory. It's got the savoriness to it, like meaty character. No, no. I don't care for that. I I would. I'm coming I, I do think if I were choosing the two, we're going to vote, which to explain the way we're voting <laughs> are these little coins. And this is our judge number. I'm judge number three. Uh, BC is judge number one. You heard judge, that here. <laughs> judge number two. And uh, so we're going to vote via these green and red cards. Yeah. On this side is the is number uh, 11, this side number five. So I think we all unanimously think yeah. this, this one's not bad. This number three. But it just doesn't have enough body, it doesn't have balance, and I, I just prefer this one. So Are we just yeah. gonna put these back here? Is yeah, let's go on. We're gonna switch now. We're gonna jump over to our next ones, next round. We've got our next round. This is numbers four versus number 12. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna be impartial and start with our lighter one first. I think that one will, 12. yeah. Okay. Only because I think sometimes darker can be stronger. Ooh, it smells hot. Mm-hmm. It smells like mint. It's very like sweet. Peppermint. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's definitely got some, uh... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just diving right in. Go for it. It's got some, like, basil like, sweet basil. Um... Mm-hmm. Sounds to me. That's much sweeter than I was expecting. Yeah, the nose is... The nose is Woo! deceptive. This is number... By the way, number 12. We're on. It's like a fair amount of herbaceousness. Mm-hmm. You seem like you're not. I'm trying to There's figure out what that flavor, flavor is. It's, yeah. a, it's almost like a, um, it's got like a peachy, peary side to me. Yeah, there's there's a stone fruit thing happening in there. But there is a, uh, a herb of some sort that is added, like a rosemary, like a, uh, 
trying to think what other things in that realm. Yeah, he catches you pretty hard in the back of the throat, but I almost like I kind of like it. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I'm, my palate is very confused by this flavor. The sweetness is strong. Mm-hmm. Acidity is ginger too. See, it's ginger. Yeah, you can oh. feel it. You can feel it. Like, yeah, I could. Mm. I do like the acidity level on it though. It's got a little peaking of, of mm. bright acid, yeah, but it's not like that's ginger. Not too much. Um, mm. All right, that's number twelve. Let's go ahead and go to number four. Whoa, oh, it's, yeah. like, it's like really gingery. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know, uh-huh. now that I can I'm got that flipped now. This one might be... Alright, we're on... We gotta get a couple palate cleansers. So we got mm. some, some crackers and some water, so... Number four. Um, number four. Yeah. Also kind of sweet. Ooh, definitely, definitely Boche. That's a very familiar flavor to me. Oh yeah, that's lovely. I like the caramelized, the, the toffee. There's like so many bright toffee notes in this. That Tastes kind of like a Manhattan. Uh-huh. Mm. I will say the body on it is not very big, but to me, like it's got a little tannic value, but it doesn't like present as big bodied. Mm. Yeah, there's not a lot of viscosity there to match the sweetness. Man, it's got some burn in the back of the yeah. throat, though. That's a Boche, though. Boches take forever to get to that go. point where... I really like this, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not describing the burn as bad. No. It, it reminds no, no. me of, like, a, a good bourbon. Mm-hmm. It, it's, just, it's, it, it's just sort of like drinking a, a pretty... I'm sure pretty, this one's a little uh, hot. This is... High alcohol stout. Well, it kind of, it reminds me of, in uh, Nicaragua, all their rum is 35% because it's meant to be just drink mm-hmm. with an ice cube. And those dark rums down there where you can literally just sip them, reminds me a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could drink a fair amount of this in the winter. Okay. Oh, we're good. I think... I like that. Um, green is, is darker. Number four. Green is number four. Red is the number 12. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that. I, I do think this one's good, but the flavor uh, profile and the mixing is a little bit confusing to me. Mm-hmm. And just stacked stacked against this one, this one has a little more direct. But mm-hmm. that this also has a, just it's more complex. It's got a little bit more going on. Mm-hmm. Um, I want this to be slightly drier and have a little more structure, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I think that could help it go in the right direction. I also think the gingers. Yeah, that's pretty, way too much. That the brightness. That has to be ginger. I, that has to be ginger. We'll find out. I That's what the after show is about. <laughs> All right, oh. we're gonna switch. All right, uh, here this. we go. This is number nine and number ten. By the way, uh, just to clarify, I mixed and matched things. I didn't put them against each other in any specific order. I literally just kind of put them around. Luck so, of the draw. Yeah, luck of the draw. Where are we start? Um, let's start. Still going lighter. Let's let's keep on the train of the lighter first. This one looks like it's gonna be very bold. Yeah, it does. It smells. I mean, I smelled it. It, it smells sweet. Ooh, there's a lot of. Well, that's an interesting honey character here. I'm not doing a lot of Roma stuff right now. Probably should. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to get an idea for what it is before I go in. I'm just going in. Yeah. I'm not. I, I'm not. We're not like going through a score sheet here, so. This has a very like traditional. I just want to take it on face vibe, but some, the, one interesting thing about this, the water. I feel like the water used as the basis of this was. Um, I don't know what kind of water, but it has something about it. Uh, okay, so it's not it's not super, super thick or anything, but it's really soft. Yeah. Like really, really soft. And I think that may be what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. It feels like the, it's got like a really soft water. I don't know enough about water profiles. I don't either. But I, I'm not going to speak to that, but that's what it reminds me of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. The honey varietal is interesting too. It doesn't taste like a, to me, it does not have like a bright orange blossom or something that's super defined. That's really good. <laughs> if this if this mm-hmm. is a traditional, which I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I'm not picking anything else mm-hmm. up. But no adjuncts. No. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Next up is number nine. That was number 10. Here's number nine. This one, I don't know if it's just woo, my brain, woo. but it looks looks thicker. It's got some viscosity yeah. just in the pour. 
Man, big that fruit. That is berry. That big is... fruit on the nose. No, it says like a garnet. Ooh. I can't really see the color. That's that's got some tartness like to it. Honey color to it. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty. Kind of a dark rust. It's got some acidity. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> uh, whoa! Oh wow! It's like I can like feel mm -hmm. like my, mm -hmm. my jaw locking up. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I like the berry character, but that tartness is like over. That's just, zingy. Oh, that needs a lot more sugar. I don't have any more sugar. I think it. It needs back sweetening. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. It needs more. It is sweet, but the acid. Is I think so the acid's strong. too high. Which I don't know. How would you fight such an acid? Um, this has to be a. My mouth is watering like crazy. No, like no, blackberry. This tastes like blackberry or some sort of berry in that regard. Boysenberry maybe. It's the only thing like you can do. Kind of or okay. sweeten it up, or use a pH buffer. Mm -hmm. Some uh, potassium. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I like the flavor. Yeah, got some carbon. That's what it is. Yeah. I like the flavor of it, and I kind of mm -hmm. like the tartness, but it's just so it's much so tartness. If this were like about half as tart, I, I think this would be incredible. I think if the tartness weren't as well, and that's kind of the beauty of this is like you have that sweet, deep flavor, uh -huh. and that tartness just really kind of adds to the character. And yeah. I like that, but it's just every time I t <laughs> every time I take a drink, it's just like I, I do yeah. really like this berry flavor, but it's just too tart. I would like it twice as sweet, and probably with some like oak. I don't um, think it needs to be sweeter. Personally, uh, uh, I like where the sweetness level is. I think the acidity level, and whatever it is that they're making, whatever it is that's happening that's making it so tart, needs to be uh, brought down. Well, the thing is, if they're using only fruit juice, they have no control over the acidity. I understand. Okay, and so. Mm -hmm. Again, the way to fix that is to buffer the pH with a brewing salt, like calcium carbonate, uh -huh. or to sweeten it to bring those things more into uh, life. I, I got you. Okay. It's uh, that's tricky to do with a big, a big fruit meat like that. What yeah. kind of fruit is this? It, it tastes. It tastes like blackberry or something. Um, berry mixed berry bomb. So it's got a bunch of berries in it. Okay. Bunch of berries. All right. I I gotta say, nope. of the two, I'm gonna vote. I'm yeah. gonna vote this, which I believe is a traditional. Yeah. Tupelo Tread. This is a, oh, this is Jake's. There he is. Uh, Jake the Snake. Jake's Tupelo. That's, okay, this honey is, that's why it's familiar. I think we've had this meat before. Uh -huh. We have had this, because we were drinking it, and I was like, the only this thing, is this, awesome. <laughs> this thing needs a little more tannic health. It needs a little more uh, body boosting to me. I, I can oh, that. And it could just be that coming out of this, which is so thick, mm -hmm. that this feels extra thin, but I do feel like it just needs a little bit of edge. Mm-hmm. No, that's a great traditional. I think, it's I think, milk. Giving it a little tannin would not hurt it in any, uh -huh. like giving it a little bit more structure would make it just a little bit more appealing so it doesn't, because it is, because it is so soft, mm -hmm. it, it, it could kind of come off as flabby a little bit. Yeah. And I, and I don't, and that's like kind of, I, I feel like I'm saying that and, and I'm pushing it by saying that it feels flabby because it really doesn't, but I think a little tannin could help just Move it, it in the right direction. Just a little bit more grip. Yep. Yeah. Well, okay, so in that case, number 10 moves on. All right, let's 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 keep rocking and rolling. This is uh, number, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> dead bees. <laughs> dead bees. Um, number five versus number 13. How do you judge which one is lighter here? Which, um, which part of the rainbow are you coming from? You know, I don't know. Well, I'm not. All right, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the Ozarka from Oklahoma is better than the Texas. Uh, you, is that is that a thing? Yeah. Have you tasted them side by side? I don't need to. I, I can taste it. I knew before I looked at the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the one that's more we clear. We have here. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the one that's more clear. How about All those that? fossil case? fuels that uh, filtered out for us. We're gonna start with number thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> have we had too the much already? Time, <laughs> the first time that. I said that. <laughs> the notes on this one's interesting as well. It's got a, like a small amount of vanilla or something in it. Yeah, it smells like um, kids' candy, like a mm. like a sucker. <laughs> like yeah, a, like a dum dum. Like fruit punch. Oh, that that um, carbonation and the oh yeah slight uh, slight acidity there is kind of oh talk about flabby. You want that carbonation? It's supported a little bit by the carbonation. This one has a, 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 as far as fruit character, like it has like a, a good basis of fruit character, but I don't, I cannot define 
necessarily which which fruit it is. Yeah. I mean, kind of going back to what Tony said, it's got a little bit of a fruit punch kind of uh -huh. character. I, I will say it's not bad. I mean, like it's just it kind of just tastes like fruit, fruit, fruit punch drink. Yeah. <laughs> I think this. I think this cold. I don't, I don't would have be... enough honey flavored in this. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's crushable. I mean, you could. Yeah, it's um, definitely enjoyable. I, I don't like that yeah. at all. But right. alcohol is good. Yeah, uh, it's not too hot. That's there's there's layers and things about that that are nice. But it finishes uh, pretty short. Any more mm. bright floral notes? All right, we're going going on to five now. Number five. I do like the color on this. This is very rust, like mm. amber. Look at this orangey thing going, like this orangey mm. hue. Oh, that's very sweet. Got some. What is that? Oh, it almost. You know, it kind of reminds me of is a uh, bread. Hmm. A little bit. It's not quite bread. The acid balance Ooh. in the honey. You, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. It's got that that funk. Hmm. It's a little sour. Mm-hmm. I don't have, I don't get any of the like barnyard. No, 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 but it has, it's like getting into that funky thing without being Britannomyces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This has a little bit of a zing too. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. In that like ginger realm. But it's not as, as point, pointed as that other mm -hmm. one. I, okay. Personally, mm -hmm. that is sweet. It is. It's nearing cloying. Um, I'm gonna vote. And on this side I is think that 13. On this side is five. This is five? Five, 13. And, and 13 so, is the red one. Yeah, 13 is red. Okay. I, I just think that, um, yes, the, the sweetness is a bit, a bit hot on that one. Mm -hmm. However, yeah, it's you know what? I'm gonna shoot characters. my shot here. I'm actually gonna go with this one. Okay. Because the weird I, 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 that feels like it wasn't clean. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. why. To me, I don't think it's Brett, but it's. It, it, I hope I'm wrong. I could could it just be that juice though? Whatever I mean, juice it could or something be, they used. This is the to me way more oxidation way too. more drinkable, and I think that that has too much tannin. Almost. Yeah. So I, I nearly went with this one because I like how crushable that is. I'm imagining myself sitting out fishing and having yeah. four or five of these in an afternoon. But when it comes to complexity and just something that really kind of boggles my palate in a way that's pleasant, I think this one was more interesting. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Uh, number five moves on. We're going to move on to our next round. Wow, half time already. This tournament is flying by. What do you think of the tournament so far? I was definitely surprised by some of these meads. I wasn't expecting two session meads to make it through. Uh, it's interesting. Here's the board as it stands right now. We have 13 versus 10 and 4 versus 11 going into round 2. This second round will be super interesting because some more powerful flavors are coming at other powerful flavors. I'm really interested to see the result of number one versus number 14 because they're the same realm. I bet that'll be we tough. We do have one entry that will be moving on without a battle, and that's entry number 15. His competitor, um, he didn't show up. So uh, he lucked out and is moving on to round two without a fight. Lucky him. Frank, let's hop back in into the action and see what this halftime brings. Tasting this one versus this one. Correct? Yes, this is 14 and number one. Okay. Now we're still start with the lighter one, which is also more clear. This is that number one. I like this. It's very definitely berry. I mean, berries have a very specific color, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't see any like any orange <laughs> colored berry. I mean, I, I can't think of one. I can't so. think of one. No. <laughs> well, that's deceiving. Mm. It smells great. You can smell the honey on the nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The taste is far different from what I it's expected. It's soft. Though. Like, the nose is soft, like there's a flower in there. 
Yeah, it's got like almost, I don't know, it's not hibiscus, but it's got that realm of um, bright floral side. Woohoo! Yeah, it does. Ah. Hmm. It has this like, it's tart and bitter. You know, the, this one. Like, like, like you ate a little flower, mm -hmm. you know? Like mm -hmm. that bitterness that you get from edible flowers. Yeah. Like that, a chrysanthemum, yeah, or a salad. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Y'all were talking about the water profile on this one, tasting really soft. This one has a very minerally yeah, character. very much yes, mm -hmm. totally a different experience. Different water sources. I do. Yeah, it has it has like um, and I know there's there's like some tannin going on, but it has this hard. Mm -hmm. mineral so driven right in the middle of it almost that. feels like I'm drinking like a really high acid like really high mineral white wine it's got that sort of mi mi but, but it has some acid to it it feels mm -hmm. like cranberry like yeah, some yeah. sort of like mm -hmm. something like that uh, on the nose I would have said that it was something like lavender or I don't know some a softer flower but the, the flavor it's bitter the bitterness is I actually think the amount of bitterness is okay, but it needs a little bit of sugar to kind of help mm -hmm. move it mm -hmm. up. If it just had, I mean, just a small amount of sugar to lift it, I think that would be really, really nice. Um, let's move on. This Keep one going. smells like one we had earlier. Number 14. This is my problem with these types of meads, is they all kind of are so similar mm -hmm. that it it's well, hard to separate them, you know, as far as like something really unique. This has that same bright acid balance, acid profile, and the, the blackberry, whatever it is, boysenberry. But very tart. Oh my god. <laughs> very, oh my very god. tart. Oh. Thanks for the warning. Sorry. Oh. It's it's just so tart. It's got a. Why do we have two super tart? Mmm. Yeah, and it's tannic. It oh my god! On the inside of your mouth. It doesn't go away. Yeah. <laughs> it just like evolves. That's, that's not. Good. That's not very good. It needs needs some honey. It needs honey. It needs a lot of balancing. Um, yeah. Oh. I. It needs a lot of balancing. Oh my god! Put these out here. So this is number one. This is number fourteen, right here. Honestly, I think this is the weakest pairing we've had yet. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm judging, so number one, number 14. I'm gonna vote number one, only because this is disorientingly tart. Yeah. It yeah. Has, <laughs> yeah. It has a lot of promise. It does. Uh, it, it just, it does not live up to its potential. I think a, some honey would have fixed a, a part of the issues, but then also trying to round out the tank, the uh, acidity with maybe some more tannin of some sort, or countering, counter acid, if that's a thing. Yeah. It, you know, it's, it's, it just tastes like I ate like a, a really green berry. Mm-hmm. This, well, so it's raspberry, so that's part of the, the acid issue, but god damn, it is 18%, Woo! and the final gravity is 1.009. You know, you know, all... They started it at, like... Considering that it's 18% alcohol, oh, alcohol, yeah. alcohol content yeah. balance is really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does not feel like it's 18% alcohol, like... But it needed, some, it needed some sugar in there of some kind. Alright, so in that case, then, number one moves on. Whoa. And on to the ground. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna need some chicken neck nuts. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. calling our names. Take a, take a little break and reset. Uh, this is number six versus number seven. Oh. And keep it on the same train. Go ahead, start with the lighter one. Whoa. Whoa. This is. <laughs> that is aromatic. What does that smell? What is that? I feel like we're it back smells like bread. That baby diaper conversation, too. <laughs> Like band aids. <laughs> if there's a band aid y, plasticky. Yeah, there's something on. You know, if I want to drink that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to. <laughs> oh, and it, um, it feels like. So, ah. Dandelion. <laughs> dandelion, not dandelion, the, the flower. <laughs> dandelion root. But like there's like a just, pepper or something in there. Yeah. What? I haven't tasted it yet. What? This could be I like think one of those. There's in there. 
Mm, I don't. Mm. I think there is. This tastes like a little bit of pineapple juice to me. Tapache. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, this tastes like a spice tapache. I don't like. Okay, I don't like stuff with peppers. Mm -hmm. You're picking up the capsaicin though? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. But what you were talking about with the bread, if this is tapache and this is made with the pineapple skins, then you're gonna get all those other microbes mm -hmm. in there uh, in addition sure. to the yeast that you pitch, and that's where you get that funk. No, not not my thing. I don't I don't think it's bad. I think the cold, I can see how people it is would odd. like this. The the nose on this is very odd, but the, Ooh, the taste is, is it's, like, is there like cinnamon in this? I don't think so. There, maybe. There's yeah. definitely a pepper in there. Cinnamon would be traditional for some regions mm. for tapache. Ah, yeah, right. I, I can kind of taste it. It feels like I put a little cinnamon in my mouth. Because mm. it's gritty? Uh, almost, or... almost, but like, I can kind of taste it. <laughs> yeah. So that's number, not, that was seven. Let's keep going. This is number six. All right. So we got another berry bomb mm -hmm. here. Now I'm trying to clear out my palate. Let me know how different this mm. is going to be. Y'all. Oh, sweet. The sweet. Really, 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 really. Very, very, very viscous. Incredibly Ooh. sweet. It's not bad, though. Mm hmm. Acid can be a little bit, but there's a little alcohol hit, alcohol hit, and some mm -hmm. acid that are kind of combining to me. But the the berry flavor profile here is very nice. It's really good. Yeah, I want like a big slice of cheesecake. Oh yeah, that's yeah. dessert. That is for sure. Yeah. Or just a bunch of blue cheese. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for free. Number six. Uh, yeah. No, hands down. Number no seven is on this side. This one is just, I mean, it, it is representing me profile to ah. a T. Okay. Mm. With Priscilla, or Priscilla, how's it, Priscilla? Pastilla, maybe? Uh, oh, cinnamon. Ah, yeah. there you go. And Arbol chilies. Yeah, okay, so, those chilies are really alienating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like to cook with them. Yeah, I've never, oh wow, that's wild. You know, what I will say is he executed this really well uh -huh. because we were able to pick up on all the things. Yeah. We knew that there were pineapple skins that's and fair. chilies yeah. and cinnamon. Absolutely. Well executed. However, this one tastes better. Yeah. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is really good. It's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. and... Boysenberry Mel. Mmm. This was the next This is... Oh, okay. Well, this one no, is actually... Wait. This no, this was the one. Fairly one young too. This was this was yeah. in February. It's very well executed. That's mm -hmm. good. Okay, so in this case, That's number true. six moves on. Our last little pairing or matchup here is or are number two eight and number eight. Okay. So <laughs> this one, um, one of these two um, had an adventure in the opening of it. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the the more clear. Lighter. Ooh. Big honey on the nose. Mm -hmm. Likey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. That smells wonderful. I do like the, the sweetness level. Like, it's sweet, and it's got floral sweetness, too. It's not just, like, honey sweetness. Or not just, uh, what, sugar sweetness. Mm -hmm. What I mean, it's got actual floral is sweetness. Is this a traditional? It's a hydromel. Mm -hmm. It's a hydromel? Yeah. And... Balance in a hydromel is so difficult. This needed a little bit more tannin and a little bit of acid. Mm -hmm. amendment. Oh, I don't think it needs more tannin. It's just kind of tannic. I think it needs some. It I needs think it some needs a little. Really? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have enough. It doesn't have enough something to linger around. It's like right under, like right in front of my gums, like under my lip, my front lip. But it doesn't. It doesn't grip your tongue. Yeah. I, I see. And so, like in my hydromel recipe, I have just a little bit. It's like a gram per gallon of tannin, but it's just enough. This it just gives it some roots to put down. So this it's not is, bad. It's a well executed hydromel. This is number two. This I think this needs a little bit of like malic acid or tartaric. One of the two. Yep. Either one. Uh, yeah, it can have wood. a little more acidity, and I honestly think a, a touch of <laughs> touch of sugar would just help help. Yeah, it. I like this weakness level where it's at. I don't think I think if you peaked, you would start to um, 
overwhelmed the floral. Like I really like the floral oh, that's, side of it. That's like that's the that's the, the aspect of it that makes it so uh-huh. appealing. It just yeah, I think you're right. A touch of malic acid, and this would be in the sweet spot. All right, so that was number two. Let's move on. Okay. Number eight now. Oh, interesting. It smells nice. Mmm. Uh, oh, whoa. Yeah. I got a little more tart than I. Yeah. Way in the back of the throat. Back of the tongue, too. That's weird. I mean, it tastes yeasty. Yeah, it's got. <laughs> it got stirred up. <laughs> That's one word for it. Uh, this I mean, one doesn't have like any, enough fl- uh, fruity profile. Anything that's like just popping in my face is like, hey, I'm I'm a parent. It's it's just kind of like, no, it, the fruit doesn't come through enough. Mm. Even if I didn't know it had exploded, I would still say that this isn't done for my thing. Yeah, it tastes way too young. Mm. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and vote now. This was uh, make sure I'm right. Number two. This is number eight over here. So. I think, yeah. overall, uh, number eight, it, it just, it has some young quality to it. I do think that it probably had a disadvantage that it did go through um, uh, bottle recarving and it kind of exploding. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately that didn't suit it well, but this one just has still it's things nice. to work on, but it's nice. It's nice. This is the end of round one for us. Um, we will be back with round two, which will have these four, these eight now, combating against each other. If you made a guess down below, I would love to know, of course, were you right? Did your person get knocked out or are they still in? Um, you still have time to take a guess if you haven't. Um, we'll be back soon with the round two, but I'm excited. I think we're getting down Woo! to the nitty gritty. This is getting down to the, to the ones that are, it's gonna be a tough battle. I think there's gonna be more conversation. Yes. So while this this video might have been long, these next ones will, uh, you know, they get a little bit shorter, but we get to be more in depth. And each new round requires us to be even more critical. So it should be very interesting and fun. We'll see you soon.